Hi guys, so today I did this like bright smoky eye. It's kind of fully inspired I think. Um, it's got blues and purples. It's a really nice smoky eye for something different when you don't want to use usual blacks and browns. So I'm going to start with my Max Soft Oak Paint Pot to prime the eyes. And I'm just running that all the way over the eyes with my finger. And I'm going to also take that underneath the eyes because we're going to be applying quite a lot of colour underneath as well. So to start off with I'm taking my Jack and Hill Favourites palette by Morph. And taking this kind of pinky coral shade I'm just going to run that through the crease. And then use the same palette, I'm going to take this light brown, I'm just going to use that to blend it out because I still want it quite, quite pink, but I want a nice warm brown transition shade just for the bit of definition and transition, just to help everything blend a bit smoother. Next I'm going to take this vibrant purple shade and it's kind of like a pinky purple, it's not pure purple, it's got a lot of pink in it. I'm going to work that through the crease and I'm going all the way from the outer corner to the inner corner. Usually I focus mainly on the outer corner but as you can see here I'm taking it all the way in towards the nose. This again is just going to help blend, I like applying quite a lot of product and using lots of colours to create that definition and it also I feel like when you apply more colours it actually helps blend easier because there's more things to blend into. And then taking the clean fluffy brush I'm going to blend that again just so there's no harsh lines or edges. And then taking my Tom Ford eyeshadow palette and this one is called Lavender Lust. I'm taking the darkest purple shade from there and I'm going to start working that on the outer corner using a quite a bit of a smaller brush I'm going to push that on the outer corner of the eye and once I've got it worked into that outer corner I am going to start dragging it into the crease but this is going to be quite a lot lower down and a bit more dense right into the socket line And I always find it looks like this, it looks quite sloppy at the start. So when you're at the stage where you think this looks horrible and it looks sloppy, just keep going and by the time everything's on, it'll have really blend it together and look really nice. So taking my Vise 2 palette, I'm going to take this blue shade. It's got quite a bit of teal in it in person, but it looks quite blue on camera. But a blue works just as fine as a teal, whichever colour you want to really. And I'm going to start packing this all the way over the lid. I use pushing motions at first and then I swipe over, once I've pushed it all onto the lid I'll swipe over and this is going to remove any of the excess so it falls down now rather than later on in the day. And then taking a fluffy brush I'm going to blend that. This brush is clean, it's got nothing on it, so it's just going to blend through the edge of the blue just so it meets up to the purple nicely. And then with blending, you typically typically lose some colour, so I reapply and blend some more. Keep doing that process till you've got the vibrancy of the colour and the blend that you want. And then I'm just going to coat my lashes with mascara just to prep them for fake eyelashes. 
obviously you don't have to apply fake eyelashes it's always optional but I think with a look like this fake eyelashes really complete the look and then take my infallible foundation I'm just going to work that all over the skin and also down the neck and also across my ears uh, the reason I put it on my ears is because I want my ears to match even if I've got my hair down I'm a, the type of person that always tucks the hair behind their ears I don't even realise I've done it or look in the mirror and my hair's behind my ears so I always take it over my ears just to make everything match and also take it behind my ears while I'm taking it down the neck and then taking my Collection 2000 concealer I'm going to pop that under the eyes and then the trick with this look is I'm going to take a concealer brush and use that to really clean up the outer edge of the eyeshadow so I'm going to get a bit of concealer on the brush and just swipe it right under there and that's just going to clean up that line of the eyeshadow. Then once I've got it all in place where I want it to be I'll go in and blend it. And then I've set all that and I think I'm using my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder here. I usually use that powder so I'll assume that's the powder I'm using. Uh, just going to set my whole face because I like to set the concealer uh, because that creases. I set my nose because I get oily there. And then because I feel when I apply powder, bronzers and blushes, um, if I haven't set the foundation first, it kind of goes patchy and streaky. So I usually set the entire of my face. But depending on your skin type and how you feel your products apply, you definitely don't have to. And then I'll use my Maybelline Colour Tattoo in the colour Creamy Beige. And I'm going to use this kind of like an eyebrow, eyebrow pomade. I'm just going to use it to fill in my eyebrows. And then I'll set them and make them look a bit more textured and kind of bushy with my L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. And then back in with the blue on a smaller brush I'm going to take that underneath the eye. Running it quite low to the lashes. And I'm also taking that all the way into the inner corner. And then using a pink from the Vice 2 palette just because I didn't want to switch back to my... Um, Morphe palette because I had this palette in front of me but you definitely could I'm going to use that to blend that out and then back in with the dark purple I pop that on the outer corner of the lower lash line and also a bit more on the outer corner above connected them all together and blended them through and then pop some mascara on my lower lashes and then I'm going to pop on my fake eyelashes now these are Ailio, I'm not 100% sure of the number but I'd, all I know for a fact is that they're from Ailio And then I'm going to go for quite a harsh contour today and I've not really been into this recently but I just decided today, you know what, I do want a harsh contour. So I'm going in with my sleek contour kit and really creating a nice defined sharp contour today. I take that under the cheekbones, across the forehead and in the temple. And also take a bit under the chin mainly, just because for me personally, my chin kind of blends straight in with my neck. I don't have much of a defined chin, so I like to kind of make it a bit more defined. And then I'm taking Sleek Suede Blush because I wanted a neutral blush. Just because we've got so much going on with the eyes, I just wanted a softer blush. So this is really neutral colour. I'm just going to blend that from the corner of the eye back into the bronzer. And then for highlight, I'm taking this Makeup Revolution one. And it's got a pink undertone. You can't really see it on camera, but I wanted something with a pink undertone to tie in with a pink on the eyes. So I'm taking that on top of the cheekbones and kind of blend it up into the eyebrow and then I take it down the nose and also on my chin and cupid's bow One, 
and then I'll take my big powder brush and just blend everything through because even though I said I did want a quite harsh defined contour I still get scared of kind of unblended lines so I will go back in and just blend everything through and then I wanted a really nude lip so I'm taking the nudest nude I have which is Myth by MAC and then once I put it on I decided it was a bit too nude so I went in with a natural lip gloss by NYX just to kind of liven up a bit just to add a touch of pink so it's still very nude but it's not it doesn't blend straight in with my skin and look like concealer lips so once you've applied that that is the finished look um, I really hope you enjoyed the video um, if you did enjoy please like it comment subscribe and I will see you all soon in my next video